Mr. Yigit, your brother's arrived. You can wait outside. Ah, <sighs> look at that. <laughs> you banned me from ever going into my family's home. But now look at you, coming into my home as if it were your own. I'm gonna ban you from the entire world, not just my home. Well now, I don't really think that's necessary. I've decided to heed your warning, brother. I'm going to leave the country. With Cooper and Elif, correct? I was informed of some crap like that. Is that right? Yes. The things you heard are correct. What did you really expect? What did you really expect? Huh? Did you think I would leave the country and not take my daughter? Your problem isn't the baby. Your problem is Kubra, isn't it? Because now she's standing on her own feet, and she doesn't need you anymore. It must be really bothering you, huh? It isn't like that. I don't get rubbed the wrong way when it comes to my family. Your family? Huh? Yes, my family. And I want them to be with me. That's all. Because of you, I lost my mother. Listen. No, you listen to me, man. Brother, You look. listen to me. Just listen, damn it. You turned Cooper away when she needed you. You didn't hug your own daughter for months. I picked up the pieces you left. And now you're telling me that you found a new family to sacrifice? Emir. What, Yigit? Don't get involved in everything. Okay, man? If you want a family, then go and get your own. And leave mine alone. Because Kubra huh. and Elif are mine. Do you see this, man? Kubra is legally married to me. And Elif is registered as my daughter. Mm -hmm. Forget them going with you. I don't even want your shadow to be anywhere near them, you hear me? Is that clear? Is that clear, Yigit? I will stop you, no matter what it takes, dear brother. <clears throat> Why don't you have a drink? Come on, honey, have a sip. Huh? Come on, have some more. Daria, this is enough already. Please, pull yourself together because I'm so afraid that you'll end up hurting yourself, my dear. Daria? Look, please don't do this, honey. Look, it'll pass one day. It doesn't mean you'll forget, but the pain will pass. Please just talk to me. Talking's good for you. Get it all out. Don't let it poison you. I really need you, okay? I can't believe you're threatening me with releasing Nahat's recording that he made before he died. Huh? And you want to lecture me about family? I mean, you're actually blackmailing me so you can keep your own brother's daughter, man. What the hell are you talking about, you idiot? You want to ruin her life just so you can get back at me, right, huh? You selfish man. They, they're only important to you because you can't have them. You idiot, I told you that they're going to be happy with me. They'll be wasted on you. They'll be wasted on you, Yiggy, come on. Just get out of here already, man. I didn't say that I wasn't going to leave the country. Of course I'll go. But I'll be going with Kubra and Elif because they're my family, and that's that. Which part of that isn't clear? Look, you're the one who will decide whether I go to prison for life or not, okay? You alone. If you decide to give that recording over to the police, I'm done for, all right? But if you do give that file to the authorities, it'll be to keep me away from Kubra, not because you want justice. And it'll be because you want to try and beat me at something for once in your life, brother.